Open it up. We all know the funniest things happen when we stop taking ourselves too seriously and step out boldly. Like Mr. Magoo blindly yeah, hang stepping on. onto the next swinging girder and falling into an outrageous jackpot. <laughs> Your hosts, Daryl and Ed, are about to administer a refreshing dose of laughter and love that will inspire you to step out boldly and experience the funniest things. Now, here are your hosts, Daryl and Ed. Yes! Welcome <laughs> to The Funniest Thing. Yes. Where each week we share stories about how stepping out boldly <laughs> always leads to better than expected outcomes. Yes, it does. I'm Daryl. And I'm Ed. And we're broadcasting live from middle school studios in downtown Culver City, the heart of Screenland. Woohoo! What's and today's show called? Today's topic is we have a propensity for prosperity. That's right. That's right. That's actually the title. That's the title. Do you think everyone knows what propensity means? We have a propensity for prosperity. It means a natural inclination. That's right. right. It means it, it means it's the natural order is to be prosperous. That's right. Because the universe is a cheerful giver. So stop pussyfooting around and ask for what you really want. And during the second segment, Funniest Thing fan, Blind Bobby Biggs, climbs aboard to read via Braille. Yeah, that's Braille, like touching. Yes. And discuss the daily word, prosperity. So we couldn't be happier <laughs> about that. Daryl's phone is happy about that yes. as well. And uh, we wanted to give a quick shout out. So grab your phone, turn off the sound. But why don't yes. you read the text or, or at least share what we heard from a fan already. Yeah. I did. We already before, right before the show started, mm -hmm. we got a uh, special message here. Yes, from Christine Barone in Clifton, New Jersey. Right, and what did she say? Uh, she said, "Looking forward to the show. I'm making sausage and pepper sliders. Great. Wow. Talk about prosperity." Remember when you wanted to call the show Sausage and Peppers? And you wanted to call it Sliders. <laughs> <laughs> and we also wanted to give a shout out to someone who's gonna we know is going to be watching on YouTube. That's right. We have a new, brand new fan named Sally Grew. Sally Grew, Must, thank you. Yeah, Mustang Sally Grew in Culver uh, City. Yes. And this is the great thing about the YouTube episodes which we're recording right now and, and if yes. you, even, i mean even if you're one of the radio listeners or podcast preferred listener we you still might want to check out the youtube versions because during the breaks you get to see what goes on here at culver city middle school studios yes yes we are, it's just middle school studios the, in culver city that's right yeah, i'm so hyped up on this I episode know. And those are like the bonus materials but sally grew was telling me i love your show i watched the youtube episodes because she had this habit of turning the tv on first thing in the morning sure, you know how we all either do, yes. turn up a smoke or turn on the news or whatever yeah, it is my mom watches some whatever right. it was at least when we we're growing up it'd be like good morning america or that's it, right, it just or... becomes like the natural go-to habit. Yes, yes, so yes, she's yes. replaced her news television habit with a with funniest thing with Daryl and Ed YouTube television habit. Right, and the easiest way to get get a link to that and everything that we do is at DarylandEd.com. That's www.DarylandEd.com. It's a great simple website where everything we do is in one place, and we'll talk more about it as we go on. Yes, and. Uh, so why don't we get started with the three breaths? Oh yeah, and we need to talk. We can take a moment. This kind of leads right into what this show is all about. Yes. Um, the idea for this breath came. From, yes, I think was that yesterday. I was yes, in or the day before. It was soon. Yeah, it was in the last few couple it days. It was recent. Yeah, and I had um, some concerns about money on my mind. Right. Uh, I, yeah, you're probably the only one that has concerns. Yeah, unlike about money. most people. <laughs> For whatever reason. <laughs> this is good because I'm sure everyone's going to love this. Because yeah. I did when I heard it. That's right. That's right. And uh, so I was sitting in the in, in St. Augustine's over by a conservatory coffee shop where we like to go. Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm getting juiced on their, their goods right now. Well, good. So I was sitting in the in the, the church there. We love the churches. So we give a, uh, give a little quick yes. recommendation. That's right. Because if you're stuck anywhere, you mm -hmm. could always count on, and you don't even have to, I mean, we're talking about Catholic churches. These churches in any state, any place, anywhere are open from sunup to sundown. Yep. And you could just go in, 
sit down, get centered. Yeah. No one there is going to hassle you. Right. No one there, there's no obligation. You don't have to be Catholic. That's how loving and open they are. Yeah. And because that's a prosperous way of thinking, yeah. it's, I'm, I still find it fascinating that because they're so open, they never really have problems with people just... Because there's no, right. no security. No. I mean, there's no one even in there except fellow, you know, wanderer inners. Yeah. And no one ruins things. Yeah, or you'll see a guy taking anything. a nap once in a while or whatever, yeah. but they're just enjoying the space. And it's yeah. something about like... To, coin, to use the term that I heard through Alan Cohn, it's prayer conditioned already. The whole yes. intention of the space is to commune with God. So it, same thing I was noticing at the, the chapel over at uh, Pauline Books and Media. Which is another we, one of those. You, I sit in there and it's like, it's already tuned up to a higher frequency. Yeah. I sit right into it. It's amazing. Yeah, as soon as I sit in there, I already start to feel bad. Right. So I was searching for like kind of like an... Uh, an image or something to just get me into a prosperous state of mind, a feeling, you know, I was just right. certainly, and I was, I was sitting there and, you know, it wasn't really giving me the healthy feeling to just imagine I had this big, massive amount of money that I was sitting on. Or I hear like you. That. But what it, what it really occurred to me was what I enjoy doing is spending money. I enjoy right. spending the money on the things that I enjoy, whether it's getting coffee, a meal, yes. buying, buying groceries for the family. Sharing it. Yeah. Sharing Tipping, you know, yes. tipping people if I get a massage, tipping them generously, you know, like I love that feeling. And once yes. I realized, well, that's a feeling of generosity. Yes, exactly. And in the past, I don't think I would have been able to see it that simply because I don't want to admit that I like spending money. Like it seems irresponsible to, but no, that that's the truth. That's that's the part I was, and by you know that I enjoy, and by actually focusing on that, it raised my mood. I said I can. Go buy my coffee right now. I went yes. and I enjoyed that, and I could, you know, I got into this nice flow. Well, that's the key. It's the feeling that that's that's a that's a sign that I'm I'm in the right frequency or yes. higher consciousness. Yes. If I'm feeling bad, I'm dropping out. If I'm feeling good, I'm lifting higher. And without even realizing it, like in the way that all philosophers say it works, including Jesus. It's that spirit of generosity that yes. makes us rich. Yes. And it's funny how we all think, well, to say I like to spend money, that's not. But that is being generous yes, with it. Yes, it's participating in the flow. Where, what, yes. Do you have that, that one Matthew quote about not putting, we don't even need to read it directly, but it says, like, don't store your treasure yes. in, in places where it can uh, be eaten by rust and moths, right? Right. And uh, it's the same kind yes, of idea. Yes. Yeah, it's right there. Don't stockpile it. But he's, I love this. It says on Matthew 6, 21 and 22, you might as well lay it on him now. It says, it's obvious, isn't it? And this is after he just said, yeah, don't yeah. think about stockpiling and hoarding. It's obvious, isn't it? The place where your treasure is, is the place you will most want to be. And in the end, up, and in the end, end up being. Your eyes are windows into your body. If you open your eyes wide with wonder and belief, your body fills up with light. And it means what makes you feel good? Yes. What makes you feel good? Yes. And you will attract more right, wealth right, right. to support right. that good feeling. And right. there's nothing more legitimate and positive to think about if you want to get into a, a feeling of prosperity then a feeling of generosity. Yeah, and openness and flow. And that's why I like the beginning where he's talking about, uh, the, the specifically talking about don't hoard. Don't hoard treasure down here where it gets eaten by moths and corroded by rust or worse, stolen by burglars, right? Stockpile <laughs> treasure in heaven. And by stockpiling treasure in heaven, to me, is investing my faith that I live in a loving universe and sharing that that faith and that joy with everyone I meet in my life. So that's the kind of investment that keeps, in reality, keeps paying off. And it was so nice to shift out of like this moral thing that the whole goal should be to have this giant stack that I can stand on and then I'll never be needy. Or but the truth is, Ugh. that comes and goes. But the faith and the knowing that I'm living in a loving universe, that is heaven. That's yeah. a lasting treasure. The flowing treasure. makes me feel rich. Just this weekend, I had an emergency. Uh -huh. uh, people that live in a property I, I, I rent to, the tenants called yes. and said our sewer line is backed up. And this is Saturday after you know my day off. I'm supposed to having fun with my wife. Right. So I said, no problem. Uh, we'll look into it. I called my contractor. This guy said, oh, yeah, I'll come right after 
a job I'm doing. I could be there this afternoon. I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. He comes here. Before I even get back to the house, he's packing up the things and saying it's all taken care of. And I said, how much are you? He goes, nothing. Mm. And I was like, you're crazy. And he walked off. And you know what's funny? Him doing that for free didn't make me feel wealthy. Uh-huh. You know what made me feel wealthy? And I told you, yes. later that night, I made him a thank you card. And mm-hmm. I threw in a $100 you know, unrequested uh, check Mm -hmm. and putting that into his mailbox for him to find that. That made me feel wealthy. Yes. And I, and I always get more and I always have gotten more living with this type of faith and along these spiritual lines. Always. I've never been without. Yeah. And that joyous feeling of giving is what keeps those little funniest things showing up where the guy does it for free and gives it right on back. All right, so all that said... We're ready for the breaths. Okay, so <laughs> let's take a deep breath to clear our mind. Uh, uh, I'm going along with the, today's theme of prosperity. Here we go. I love to spend because money is my friend. Uh, uh, I love to spend because money is my friend. Ah. Uh, uh, I love to spend because money's my friend. Ah. And a great image for prosperity and living this way. You brought it up earlier about that spider. Oh my God! Yes. Yes, because we always have to be in the t- in the in the, the 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 train of thought that the best is yet to come. Best that is yet that to this come. yeah that when something runs out, something better will right. replace it. Like if I and I've often think about this because you know when you rent out or you have things that change like right. tenants and things are unpredictable. You know, I think, well, when they move out, what's going to happen? Because they, because all my tenants have been great tenants. Sure, yeah. And the truth is, whenever they leave, I end up getting either a similar as good tenant or an even better or tenant. Better, yes. Yeah, and that's the type of thought that I like to throw out there because I can't think any other way. Right. If I think any way, I'm sick. And there's the story, if you think about the spider, the spider, like, spins a web when he needs it. Yes. He doesn't, like carry around a big like wadded bunch of his old web that's right just because that last web worked really good that's right he doesn't think oh shoot i caught like 37 flies last night now what i gotta make a new web today right right what if it's not as good you know what i'm gonna save this one he doesn't think that he goes whoa tomorrow's web's gonna be even better than this or he lounges in his beautiful web and then the next time he gets the impulse and needs another web he just creates it from within himself He's free. He's not caught yes. up in wor- worrying about the web. My friend the other day told me, he said, I used to think life was like if one domino fell, they would all fall down. And he, oh, it was great boy. what he said. He yep. said, I can now, relate to thinking know, like that. That's the way we life. get, especially yes. when they're like we're feeling scarcity and like we're worried. It seems like one domino is going to fall, the whole thing. But he said, no, now I just remind myself if this whole thing is. It's not happening anymore. There's going to be new friends. There's going to be new money. Yes. There's going to be new experience because that's the way God works. It keeps, I mean, if you think about it, it's like when, when I was a kid, if I, I would think, oh no, when I move out of my family or whatever it is, there's not going to be, you know, I, I would like get all, I was like the type that would worry about this oh my type God. of stuff, not knowing that no matter where we go, like a spider, we have it within us to create a new web. <laughs> yeah, that's like when I was fearful of going from elementary school to Christopher Columbus Junior High School. Yeah. Because you'd hear all oh, those kids, if you don't say the certain password when you're yeah. going to the bathroom, they're going to beat the hell out of you. Yeah, and I'm like, right. Oh, no. And none of that was true. That's right. And, and I then, got there and I enjoyed it better than elementary school. Yeah, right. It was. It's good to face the... Because a lot of people are just standing on the edge of the unknown and making up scary stories and... They're using that to jockey for position to like be, oh. you know, like to yeah. play off your fear or oh. whatever and appear that they're not fearful. You're not kidding. Yeah, so, to mask their own fear. Oh, boy. And I got a good story for that. But this. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I got no, a story. No, I'm glad doing. what you said because my friend just texted me a picture of a t shirt. I don't know where I got it. My friend Josh Austin, he's a teacher up in the Barry. And the, this, the, the, the thing said, the masks you wear. To fool your 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 friends are the masks that you wear to fool yourself. Yeah, and I was thinking about like oh. that's 
the, the oh. fake masks, like it's me trying to fool myself. And man, I get I go through that all the time when I'm out surfing or whatever. I start imagining I'm in this scary world and I have to put on this false well, face and I start resenting the people around me. I can't believe that because just last night, now that our viewers watching YouTube can see us, yeah. I was somewhere and I actually drew that image without knowing you were giving a share about this, about how I would wear a mask to impress people, but that just made me feel more like a fraud yeah. because I didn't think I was good enough, so I had to put on a mask. Right. You know, with neat It really watches does block or, our prosperity yes. because when I, the other day, my friend shared that piece with me about the dominoes because I shared with him some nervous stuff that was going through my own head while we were surfing and he's like, oh yeah. Well, you're never going to believe what was going on in my yes. head. But I would have never got that if I didn't share what was going on with me. True. So if you want it, so this book right here, Science, uh, Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes. This is a real nice raggedy, worn-in version given, me, given to me by Dr. Elizabeth Marshall at the Center for Spiritual Living in Inglewood. And I love it. And the glossary is awesome. And it, the definition of prosperity is perfect for today's show. Yes, it is. Prosperity. Oh, by the way, if you want any of these books, go to DarylAndEd.com. Click on the tab that says reading list. That's it. Right? And then you, you, can, can, find, you can find links to, on Amazon or wherever where you can get these everything books. everything we mentioned. Yes. So, prosperity. Prosperity is the outpicturing of substance in our affairs. Everything in the universe is for us. Nothing is against us. We must know that everywhere we go, we meet friendship, love, human interest, and helpfulness. Life is ever giving of itself. We must receive, utilize, and extend the gift. Success and prosperity are spiritual attributes belonging to all people, but not necessarily used by all people. Yes. Yes. And it's so nice to hang my faith on that idea. Yeah. That... Life is always for me, not against me. The best is yet to come. Right. If, you know, one door closes, an even better door opens. Yes. So don't stand in the hallway, you know, complaining yeah. about the closed well, door. Dude, what let's you get right into that that Milford, uh, oh. Princess Milford. Princess Milford. This is another book we have on Princess our, Milford. Yeah, from 1889. 1889. 1889. It's called Thoughts Are Things. This is a great little snippet. Yeah. And he says, you find, as you get more and more into the current of the infinite mind, that exhausting toil is not required of you, but that when you commit yourself in trust to this current and let it bear you where it will, all things needful will come to you. It basically says trust, not effort, brings results. Yeah, and there is, trust is a verb. You know, it's, there's yes. things we, because even like, uh, what's it? Uh, Ernest Holmes. Ernest Holmes and Mulford, they're saying, we got to commit to it. We got to trust to it, trust in it. We'll oh do a quick God. reading out of this. I know. This then show. we'll go into the break in a moment here. It's because I wanted to leave you with this. Oh, this is Raymond good. Charles Barker in The Power of Decision says, because this is what you could do to get in the flow, get in the trust. Because I yes. have to know that this is the world I live in in order to experience it. It says, I, uh, let's see, humdrum ideas <laughs> need to be discarded. <laughs> Ideas are fascinating if you seek out the kind that fascinate you. Yes! A new central idea that is possible, strong, and creative is needed to hang your lesser ideas upon. This fascinating idea should not be based on past experience. It is a future idea to be thought in the now. It should be one that will make you happier, healthier, more prosperous, more loving, and less frustrated. Yes. The idea, this idea is already within your mind, waiting for you to awaken to it, grasp it, and think it. The infinite mind invites you to become a new person in a new experience. Only when you are this, you are fulfilling your high calling in mind. And that's those ideas that make you feel good. They're bigger ideas. Oh my God, it's amazing. Well, yeah. coming up next, Funniest Thing fan, Blind Bobby Biggs, is contacting us from Unity of Tampa. Yeah. And he's going to jump aboard and read and discuss the Daily Word uh, prosperity. Yeah, so thank you for listening to Funniest Thing on Unity Online Radio. Take eight. All right. Now. Oh, sorry, you, did you want to hear that? Hear what? Is all right? No, the outro. No, we don't YouTube need that fans. now. We got, right. We're going to talk now. Okay. What, what are we showing our YouTube fans? You just got me excited about something. Uh, what did you want to show them? Well, we know. Wait a second. Mr. Ottman, did you have a question for us? Yes. Uh, no, but I was going to let you know that I was going to bring in uh, Mr. Biggs at this point. Okay. Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's hear it. 
our YouTube listeners are getting a very exclusive moment here. They're hearing the voice of Steve Ottman, who's normally not our regular audiophile. And we're not so sure that he's not Jeff Comfort in costume just yet. But well, we think he is Jeff Comfort in costume, and he just pretends he can't do as good of a job as Jeff Comfort. So then Jeff Comfort looks like the superstar when he takes off his beard and wig. That's right, that's right. But what do I see here coming up? You can't see it at home, but on our monitor, I see someone's coming in to join us. Yes. Hello? Oh, that's it. Bobby Biggs. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, how are you, buddy? Doing fine. How you doing? Fantastic, fantastic. We would, we would tell you to press the little camera button. That Oh, no, you're on an i. What are you on? Are you on an iPad? I'm, I'm on an iPod. Oh, okay, so you won't, we won't see you anyway, so we'll just he hear you. He has a camera, but... Do you think he has a camera? Not on an iPod. Lori yeah. has an iPod. It doesn't have... A, oh, yeah. Yes, it does. I, I, would, I wouldn't know which one. Which one is the... Let me see. Oh, well, yeah, don't don't stress it too much, but if if somehow you can find the one that says turn on video, then we'll get to see you. Well, how can he possibly see that button? No, I, was, I don't know. If, you know, oh, Rob you and Debbie there? or whatever. Oh, wait, the yeah, who's there? Who's with you? I'm at, I, I, that's actually voiceover in the background. Wait, but where are you literally for real? I am in the sanctuary right by the stage at Unity of Tampa. Wow. All right, because we're going to have you. Dude, this is awesome. I know. We're going to let you let us know who the minister is there and everything, because that's exciting. Are they excited you're on our show or that we're even doing a show from Unity of Tampa? Yeah, yeah. Reverend Debbie's here, and uh, I, you know, I guess they're, setting, they're getting ready for their Palm Sunday program. Okay. Hey guys, oh, yeah. we're, we're going to be coming back. So. All right, we're ready. Okay, thank you. Funniest thing with Daryl and Ed, the best looking guys on the radio. If you have a question or comment about today's show, or if you'd like to join in the discussion, friend us on Facebook at Funniest Thing with Daryl and Ed, or email us at Funniest Thing at UnityOnlineRadio.org. Now, back to Funniest Thing. All right, we're back. And you know what? What? We have a propensity for prosperity. Yes, we do. Yeah. Thank God we do. Yes, means we don't have to work hard at it. No, in fact, a lot of the ways that I find myself toiling and wearing myself out are actually counter to what would wor what works to really bring out the prosperity, yes, the, it, the joy, the good experiences I want to have. Well, because out of fear, we think the harder we work yeah. or the more begrudgingly we work, or the more we put our nose to the grindstone, which does not sound pleasant, does it? Yeah. Ugh. No, not at all. And you know, it, it makes we sense. We think that, that's going to bring us more, and it doesn't. And it makes sense. If you're looking through your five senses, you know, you're a baby, you drop out, you know, like you drop into this world. If you think that it all began and end, ended there, you know, like if you don't realize that we come from beyond substance, you know, like they're, they're yes. from, the, from spirit, from a loving source that takes care of us, it makes sense. You think, how? Well, I'm on my own now. But oh, inside, horrible. we know that that's not true. That's why it feels so horrible. Yeah, that, and to think that we got to push and shove and work hard and make so many phone calls. Or, oh, yeah. That, that's the old... And this, this saying is around because it, it reminds us that that doesn't work. It's that simple saying. If you got to fight to get it, you're going to have to fight to keep it. That's right. Which means in this life, surrender. And even in that... The, the Matthew 6, 21 and 22 yeah. from the Bible, even Jesus says, look, stop toiling. Stop like being right. hard on yourself. Stop making hard work of it. Just go where your heart is. What makes you feel really good? Yeah. And follow that and pursue that. Right. And a lot of times, th I think taking this into the world of money and, and our jobs and all and this type of stuff about where we live is like, is that's like, really putting it to practice because you know during Jesus's time he's talking to people about trusting in God and about prayer and about you know right but I mean I guess we have talked a lot about in prayer it's not about beseeching and hoping we get something and it's the same thing in right. life though that you that it's not about working really hard because you know like when I'm teaching it's not about working really hard actually the more relaxed I am the better, the the best. I bring out the best in the kids I'm yes. working with, the the parents that I'm working with, because they're people just like me. This is the other thing. When I get into that 
get down on myself and I feel unworthy, I often like imagine everyone else is this perfect neutral little audience all around me and they're just watching me and I'm, I'll be like, oh, I'm letting them down or whatever. But the, the truth is they're people just like me. They're going through ups, you know, like they're going through ups and downs and have choices to make. And the faster I start to imagine myself, instead of being judged, being supported and loved by those people around me and seeing them as prosperous as well. Yeah, or just how am I going to give to them? Well, that's give what them I, love. That's what I mean. By giving them a new, like giving them a new role in my own life, seeing them as already prosperous, seeing them as having their own full oh. joyous life, seeing them as being supported by yes. the same loving God that well, I'm supported by. It like jumpstarts life because that's reality. Well, and you attract more good. You reminded me of this story. Just this Saturday, I saw a guy speak. Yes. And I'm sitting in there and he was talking about, you know, he went from rags to riches, you know, the Horatio Alger yes. story. He worked hard and went on knocking on doors. Persistence works. Yes. Nose to the grindstone. And he's talking to the audience, not from the inspiring place of love, although it was in, it's supposedly an inspirational talk on how to be successful. Yes. And I'm feeling like, oh, this is stifling. Right. And you know why I felt like this is crap? Why do I feel like but crap? But you had to step back and ask yourself, oh, yeah. why does this feel like, like it crap? Should... Yeah, because by all intents and purposes, it sounds like the story we all have been told. Right. You know, if, even like he says, if you're persistent, you show up each day right. and you make those calls and you make those sales, you know, you'll get wealthy. It just felt like crap. And yes. you know why it felt like crap? Because it is crap. Right. It's crap. Uh -huh. It is crap. I have never really struggled at all, honestly, since discovering this way of life. And it all hinges, I have to hang my hat on generosity. And we were talking about this before we started today's right. show. Even the jobs that seemingly weren't actually my heart's desire, I thought at first, you know, because mm -hmm. I was enjoying doing my work, like the doorman for New York City, it became a heartfelt job because yes. I was so generous giving people directions and having fun that all my friends started wanting to be doormen yes. and then got jobs as doormen. Same thing when I was in the Coast Guard. Yes. People started asking me, how could my son get in the Coast Guard? Because I'm having a good time in Honolulu, yes. Hawaii. And I'm letting the love shine through me. The generosity of spirit, no matter what you're doing, A, makes the job fun, and right. B, makes you wealthy. Yes, yeah. So applying the love to what you're already doing transforms it into the ideal job and if it's no longer the ideal job you'll you... move on to an even better job yeah. which has been effortlessly yeah and just like ed was you were saying earlier funniest thing people ask ed all the time how can i get a job as an inclusion specialist right. and that's really more of a compliment than them yes. really thinking that job is for right. them they they're really saying how could i be as happy and fulfilled yeah. as you seem to be because i think a lot of people get a lot well, that amass some amount of money or at least the the perception that they have money they start telling the same scary oh. story that everyone else is told because it's like you could have it, but you have to work really hard and all of this. And it's like, but it's a lie. I've even known it's people who tell, yes, who tell that story. And it is a lie. Yeah. Because I know their real story was more like the Mr. Magoo spirituality. Yeah. They bumped into this one and this one. And next thing you know, they're having a good time and things are coming easy. But they feel it's not virtuous or I can't let people know it was this easy because they might get some too. And the problem with that is eventually there becomes a split because yes. you start to lose the fortune that you've amassed. And it happens. Yeah, we and know you personally have to put we on this people. false face because you've been telling everybody that stuff. So it's better just let the cat out of the bag because I was trusting your intuition. It takes one call. It takes knocking on one inspired door that you didn't even know was going to be the door. Exactly. And when you're floating from this higher perspective yeah. where you're feeling happy and your job is fun, yeah. I, I, the intuition comes to you all the time. That's right. That's right. And Speaking of yeah, intuition. Let's get through some... Some, some fun things here. We, yeah. we love to give thanks to all of our listeners. Oh, and you, the ones who watch us on YouTube, you listening Yeah, watchers, home, listeners. Listeners right now. Yes. We and, love you all. Yeah, right. If you want, and uh, should we talk about this real quick? If you ever want to start a Funniest thing study group. That's couple, right. Like uh, our friends down in Laguna Beach or yes. some other people who gave us this idea in the first place. Although we've thought about it before, it's awesome. Just go to our website, DarylAndEd.com, and it's just basically just tells you the four dummy down steps to do it. it I think it's only two steps. I think all you need is 
Two or more people and a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a study group. That's right. That's right. So go to DarylLed.com and get that valuable information. Thank you to all of our tweeters. I know that we had, uh, before I was looking at my phone because I wanted to see, we had a new tweeter this week who was Ooh. Deborah Tobia or Tobia at Tobia De- Deborah. Thank you. And Lil Quinn Jr. and Shockley Events Management and all the people who are always retweeting about your book, about the show. Oh, my God. And we don't even ask them to do that. We love all of you and appreciate all of you very much. We got a very tricky thing here because we have a very special uh, guest star with the show today running our audio. That's right. And you know what his name is? Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve Ottman, yeah. So we're happy. Does he have a sound effect? What's here? I thought Comfort might have lent in the jet. Wow, lucky devil. That's the only reason he fills in. All right, I'm excited to get to the Daily Word, but first we got to give a shout out to the prayer line. Eight hundred now pray. 800-669-7729. 800-669-7729. And, the, and you could get the free app, which is the letter U and the word pray. And we strongly Dude, it's amazing. S- you recommend wanna, it. Yeah, you want to get out of scarcity into prosperity, oh out of God. fear and into trust and, and joy. Oh, oh my. It's amazing what happens. It's oh. amazing what happens. I, we, well, you could also just send them a quick thing. Uh, give me some help on prosperity. And what's nice is you'll get an email. Yes. Or a letter to your house that with some great affirmations. They'll give you an affirmation right there on the phone and you're under no obligation. Yes, 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 yes. So now we come to the Daily Words segment. And we should let everyone know oh! another beautiful thing at our website, DarylNN.com. Well, and it's a bonus for having us as, their friend, as your friend. We have our own Funniest Thing landing page where you can subscribe to the Daily Word. For so ridiculously inexpensively that's right thanks to the daily word they they really appreciate how much we promote the that's daily right. word and love it and we just <laughs> we came up what does the daily word mean to us and it's basically this silly little booklet the daily word continues to transform our lives with simple direct and uplifting daily words of wisdom yes it does so if you go to darylned.com click on the special for special offer special offer or there's a, also a little picture down there for, oh. of us on the daily word we are so yeah uh, blown away by how much the daily word right uh has responded to us they are this the, getting the daily word through our website is the cheapest you will That's ever right. get it there's no excuse not to get it it comes to and we said this before three cents a day three cents a day and if you don't have three cents a day for to, to well-being be, and to prosperous be, and to love yourself mm-hmm. there's nothing daryl and ed can do for that's you. right but speaking about someone who can do something for us that is our guest today blind bobby biggs calling in from yes. tampa florida yeah what's up y'all how you doing buddy i'm doing all right how y'all doing today we are doing we are really, really well. We are so happy you're with us. And you're actually in the sanctuary at Unity of Tampa? Yes, I am. I'm in the sanctuary right by the stage of Unity of Tampa. And um, and it, it is really good to be here. I never thought a year ago today, anybody could have told me I was going to be here. I would have never believed it. It's, it's just incredible. Just in the past few months, what has happened in my life since getting involved with Unity. And wow. I owe you guys a lot. I mean... Well, I'm just so thankful for Reverend Debbie and for John and for all the people here at at Unity of Tampa. I just love them to I love them to pieces. I'm so thankful to have them in my life. Mhm. Mhm. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can feel the love coming through your voice and we're so happy that you're here and all of Unity of Tampa. We're grateful that everyone's with us today. Yeah, and we feel the same way about you, Bobby. So if you'd like, we'd love to have you and just so our listeners know and our people watching on YouTube that Bobby is really legitimately blind That's and right. he actually brails. How do you get the daily word in braille form, Bobby? Actually, what I do is I, I read it via email and then I use a speech program to read the email. And then what I did was Monday, I sat down at the Braille writer and I wrote out wow. today's daily word. And that, that's why I needed it when I did, so I could sit down. It took me about 20 minutes to write it out. Mm-hmm. And once I did, I, I looked at it, I was like, yeah, yeah, we're good to go now. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, let's hear it, Bobby. 
All right, here we go. Can you hear me good? Oh, perfect. Yes. Yes. All right, this is The Daily Word. By the way, this is The Daily Word on Unity Online Radio. Unity Village, Missouri, the voice of the a voice, the voice of an awakening world. Yeah. yeah. 2015. The Daily Word is prosperity. And as Melena Dawn would say, the affirmation is grounded in faith. My prosperity grows. And here is the word. Some days I may lose sight of my abundance. At such times I turn within. I focus on the many blessings I have experienced in my life. In gratitude for those blessings. I replace any thoughts of lack with an affirmation of abundance. I know spirit is limitless and provides all the resources I need. Like a gardener joyfully planting seeds and removing weeds, I plant seeds of prosperity, knowing they will grow in the fertile soil of spiritual substance according to my faith. I release any thoughts, any thoughts that stray from abundance. Like the gardener, I express gratitude for each blessing that arises and my trust in spirit deepens and the bible passage for today is look at the little uh, let me start to go over the bible passage for today is look at the birds of the air they neither sow nor reap and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not more are you not of more value than they and that's matthew 6 26 wow Uh, that was awesome man yeah that's fantastic and you know from the message version of the bible that they add we added on from matthew 6 27 as he says who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life worrying (laughs) worrying is overrated so overrated and it solves it is and it's like and you know for me you know i'll sit there at work and thank God for CDs with, you know, stuff that I've got on them, you know, like from, you know, I'll download MP3s and I'll burn them onto a CD because if I'm not careful, I can sit there and I'll worry and worry and worry. And pretty soon it's like a washing machine. It's like around and yeah. circle, around and around and around and around and around and around. And around and it just keeps going and going and going. It's worse than the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> yeah. And you know what is really detrimental about worry and the good news about worry? I'll share the good news first. Worry is ineffective. Yet I used to believe that I wasn't solving any of my problems if I wasn't concerned and worrying. And that's crap. But yeah. the, and the problem with worry is when I worry, those thoughts, because every thought, if you hold a thought for 17 seconds or more, it starts attracting similar thoughts. Right. And then I start worrying about stuff I did years ago. You know, Ugh. so I, I try now to kick the worry out as fast as I can by shifting to, like you said, you listen to the CDs that are uplifting or I'll read a piece out of the Daily Word or I'll call Ed or I'll listen to someone else Mm -hmm. like uh, Discovering Eric Butterworth on Unity Online Radio. Just something to knock knock me out of that groove in the record of my mind that wants to worry right now. And I'm just so grateful that I learned that I don't need to worry. Worrying is not required. You know what I mean? I do, yeah. It's... Thank you, spirit. That's good. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> and, and that's what I need to hear today. You know, that's what I need, you know, because I get so caught up in, oh, what about this? What about this? Oh, we're going to have thunderstorms Friday. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I hear you. It's, it's that darn circular thing, and you just go round and around mm. and around, and it's like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Ah! You know, you got to do yeah. something to break that. Yes, and, it, yes. And and it, it's cool, you know. You know, like you said, you know, if you can get it within seventeen seconds, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try and remember that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The good part is, anytime you sit, anytime and break it for seventeen seconds, just yeah. by like one thing that really helps me is I'll sit quietly anywhere in my car, or whatever, and just acknowledge. The only one that's really thinking these thoughts that have any consequence are, is me. Right. So it separates it from... Because if I let it go, it starts to project a whole world of worry oh, and yeah. other people who are worrying. I was in the water today and I was had that going on when I was surfing. And I was starting to feel resentful and toward myself and other people in the water. And I just started doing what Daryl and I have been talking about. And just comforting myself and saying, you're okay, Ed. You're okay. 
you're okay. And I just started, I kept telling myself yes. that. And all of a sudden it lifted and well, I felt love for every single yes, person in the water. Yes, because those thoughts pick up momentum. Yes, that's what exactly. And I was going through some business in my head this morning, mm-hmm. guys. And I, I was like, oh, so I went for a walk. And sometimes that helps because walking or moving is an affirmation of life. It means I'm alive. I'm affirming life. And I started thinking worrisome thoughts. And I go, wait a minute. And I started getting scared by them. And then I reminded to tell myself, my worry thoughts have no power compared to God's love. That's right. I could worry all I want and I won't reap the no. benefits of that worry because God's love is That's way right. more powerful. And that made me forget about what I was worrying about. And, yes. and then I started feeling better. And then those feelings started elevating, ooh, on today's show. And then I called Ed like I was on like you eight, were. eight cups of espresso yes. hyped i was so hyped up <laughs> feeling so good yes yeah it, it's, i like that because you know you know i like that god's love is more powerful than my worry that is yes oh, yeah. that is the bomb right that's there. right I mean, that's, that's right i i you know next time i i find myself going around that circle like, whoa, 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 stop my uh, god's love is more powerful than my worry yes i and and that's the thing when the test comes and and life tests us throws us these curveballs i gotta be able to I, that's what i've got to do no 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 no. god's love is much more powerful than that look yeah. where i'm at today I mean, that's I'm right yes i mean I'm unity of tampa i was reading the daily word on funniest thing i can listen to that and, and relive that moment and yes like, oh, yeah I mean, yes and, and I, i'm just so thankful i mean i can't tell you how grateful i am for you guys um um, I've emailed you a couple times. You know about the security alarm incident that happened yes. at work yesterday, thanks to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we love you, Bobby. You remind us of ourselves. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I swiped the key card. I open and I open up the door. Beep 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 beep. Doo, 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 doo. I'm like, oh no, oh I'm dead now. <laughs> that would have been a good time to say, nope, nope, nope. God's love is much more powerful than my worries. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. God's got it all taken care of. Spirit's gonna take good care of it. Daryl and Ed are going to have something to laugh about later. That's, That's right. true, and we appreciate that. <laughs> That's right. You know what? This hearing you guys talk made me realize the worry only exists in my head. Yes. God's love exists everywhere. 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 I like that. I'm going to keep that affirmation. Yeah. Well, me too. And we'll see you soon. We're going to have to. We're going to have to close out this segment. Thank you so much, Bobby Biggs. Thank you so much, Ed, Daryl and Ed, and I love you guys, and thanks again for everything and for being part of my life. Give our love to Unity of Tampa, everyone out there. We appreciate you coming on. And, and Reverend Debbie and John and everybody from Unity of Tampa. Hey, from Funniest Thing. Yes. Yeah, awesome. All right, great. All right. Well, coming up after the break, we have the joke of the day, listener mailbag, and more. So thank you for listening to Funniest Thing on Unity Online Radio. What is called the pants? All right. Fantastic. All right. All right. I'm going to use All right. the... Bobby, your voice is like uh, awesome. like uh, honey. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Oh, my God. It's our pleasure, man. It feels so good. And I feel like, uh, you know, like I've known you forever because we all, you know, we all fill in the gaps so nicely. You know, I, I know that, the, like, there's times when I intuit that the guest has something to say, and you always say it, and you know, and you're always enthusiastic, and I feel better after talking to you. Well, thank you so much, Ed. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And I got your email address in my phone, so I, oh, I'm good. building my I'm building my uh, Unity network. Fantastic. And, and that's that's another thing. When I start to worry, I need to pick up that iPod or pick up that phone and just find somebody in my unity network and even just send a little text that'll help you know oh no doubt about it no doubt about it all right buddy so until we meet again it's, we'll see you soon all right love you guys love you too all right bye-bye bye-bye all right this is great to our youtube audience at home we're grateful you're still with us Yes. And uh, Daryl's back. And yeah, Mr. Uh, French and Gabby. I want to tell, oh yeah, Mr. We're, French and Gabby just yeah, they popped were, their heads in. Well, they were in the backyard. That's oh, what wow. The, that's who was ringing the doorbell. It was actually Mr. French standing on Gabby's shoulders. No wonder, no wonder. Should we tell Mr. Ottman something about the joke? Or, uh, yeah, the line for the joke where the rim shot goes. Yeah. Is, uh... How burn. long? Oh, 
Yeah. You should Yeah, because his, he seemed dumbfounded when I asked how long is it going to take for these birds to grow? For yeah, these, you should have seen his face. You should have seen his face when I asked him how long it would take for these birds to grow. But um, Yeah. See, the, the YouTube watchers get to know the secrets. What makes our show tick. Yeah, and we really, do, there really is a Mr. French and a Gabby the Postal Pitbull, but they're, uh, oh, we're coming back. We now return to the funniest thing. Here are your hosts, Daryl and Ed, the best looking guys on the radio. All right, the good news is that you stuck around for the third segment. That's correct. And the only thing better than that is to know that we have a natural propensity for prosperity. Yes, we do. We have a propensity for prosperity. Yes. And Who's the... I'm thinking of a cartoon The rain character. in Spain falls mainly in the plain. That's right. I was thinking of Sylvester the cat would be good oh to my say God. that, right? He would have trouble or saying Daffy that. Duck. Oh, they, they don't want to say that line. That's right, that's right. But we do. And to go along with today's show... What do we got? We got a reading from oh, Daily yeah. Guidance from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. It's a very light, positive book. I always just pick it up to any page and read from it. Any and, of our books is what's good to let our listeners yes. know that we pick books that you don't have to read from cover to cover, like arduous textbooks. You could... Any one of the books you write, just turn to any page and it'll... Lift your spirit. Yes, and you can find that reading list at DarylNed.com. And a little portion from page 260, which says, Ask for what you want. Stop pussyfooting around. That's right, like we said in our program description. Today, ask for what you really want. Allow yourself to be outrageous in requesting and expecting your true desires to be fulfilled. Call upon God, us angels, and other people for the things that you wish for. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how often the universe says yes to you. And all you had to do was ask. Always. The only thing that gets in the way of me getting what I really want is because I feel, oh, I can never ask for that. So, yeah. And then yeah. I do something wormy, and I get exactly what the worm was asking well, for. Well, you know what? And, and the, not only that, but you, you I, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, we ask for what the worm wants, but guess what? There's... There's millions of other worms who are asking for that same thing because they're not asking yes. for what they really want. So we end up struggling for breadcrumbs, our little tiny yes. crumbs, not even breadcrumbs, <laughs> crap. For no, instead of, I was thinking, like when I ask for what I uniquely desire, you get it, and it's so unique that it's easier for it to come through. Always, because I I'm, tend to be the only one knocking on that door because oh we're God. all so unique and we all have things. And are the timing and where, you know when I want to be someplace is not the same as someone else. But Never. when I ask for what I want, it's amazing. I would, again, I was in the water earlier today. All of a sudden, we went from hardly one out to like I was literally having to swallow them through people. It was like crazy amount right. of people. And for me, you know, I'm a sensitive yeah. guy. I start like going into like no, I don't uh, like crowds. You just up. Uh... But I, you know, so it's the time to get out. And I I had to say to myself, I said I, I just said okay, there's a light. As there's like a circle of light around me. There's no one in that. And I started thinking, I'm not thinking about people anymore. I'm thinking about that good feeling of connecting to the ocean. There's a perfect wave coming from me. And there's this white light around me. So there's plenty of space. And sure enough, within like five minutes, I was relaxed. And a wave came. And I rode it all the oh. way in. And it was perfect. And you could do that with anything. I mean, yes. you could do that when you're calling the cable company because you have a problem with your yeah. bill. Send the love first. It's like being in traffic. Yes. Yeah. And that's that. And, and that feeling is similar to being calling yes. some cable thing. Yes. Or, or being because when I clench up and I'm in that place, I start attracting more, more of that, clenched, of that clenched like traffic kind of feeling. But when I relax, it's amazing. I'll be in Trader Joe's and it's full. The more I just relax, all of a sudden I turn that corner right when I relax, and there's no oh, one in that aisle. At Always. That the other day I had to call about, um, you know, things with my wife and our medical. Yes. And the prescriptions and right. this and that. And before I was thinking about calling, I felt like, oh, I'm going to call them. It's going to be a hassle. So right. I didn't call at that yes. time. Right. You know, if it feels like an emergency, stop. Right. I know that now. And then the other day I was fiddling in here waiting for to get together with you, and I go, huh. I'll give them a try because I had time to kill. Yeah. So the pressure was off. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, not only do I get right through with no machine, the lady on the other end at the 
health insurance was so wonderfully nice. I commented on how nice she was. Yes. And everything was handled in one phone call with effortlessness and ease. And I was so grateful. I was yeah. like, I was so generous in my praise towards her. Right. I felt so good. Yeah, it's so important to pay attention to the way we feel because instead of trying to get, yeah, and, and push our way to do something that at that moment we think we have to do, we have to do, but if we really step back, realize, wait, I don't have to do this right now. That's right. Like there's, there's nothing, a, no, 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 Ill is no emergency. Come. And then you call back when you're relaxed, or you go to the store when you're relaxed, and you talk to the person. You always get the right person. Yeah, and it's always generosity. It means I'm sending the love yeah, first. There's that's no true. Person. And it's, even yes. sales calls. If you send the generosity first and say, okay, I got to get this $75 sale. Yeah. Ugh, you're not going to get anything. That's so true. You're going to get stressed out. Right. You're going to be miserable. Right. And you're going to feel depleted at the end of the day. Right. But if you're thinking generosity and it flowing through you and how much you love to spend because you like being generous... The people on the other end pick up on that feeling of generosity. Yeah. And we become like a nice open um, a vessel for them to flow into. Yes. Right? We, we become receptive to the good by giving and being open in that way. We also open ourselves up and that good, their good comes out yeah. and, and rests in us. You know, it's and if awesome. You, and if you don't get that, you'll get something even better. And you'll feel good knowing that naturally. You don't have to trick yourself. That's right. It. Well, you, you had a story, one thing, something about the pet shop you were going to tell. Oh yeah, that's the, uh, the what happened was uh, I don't I was gonna, I was telling Ed I was at the pet shop and I can't I have trouble with these big box pet stores. How do you mean? Well, the staff there doesn't seem to really know the product and okay. it bugs me. I think I know what you're talking about. You got an example? Well, yeah. I mean, yesterday I was buying some bird seed and you should have seen the look on this guy's face when I asked him how long is it going to take before these birds start growing. Oh. Oh. Gabby the Postal Pimple is hey, here. Gabby. And yeah. we got to give credit that joke or a little story is from Katie Ennis, a yes. fan of Funniest Thing, and she posted that on our uh, Facebook page. That's right. We adapted it for, for the screen. Yes, we and did. The radio. Ah, all right, here we go. I'm going to read this quick one. This one's from Kathy Biagiotti. Hmm, sounds good. Oh, my God. From Tustin, California. That's Ed's mom. That's my mom. <laughs> Facebook message. She said, I hope your day is going well. Took my walk and listened to your show. It was very good. It was helpful. The topic was helpful. She had something on her mind. Not to do with the immediate family. Okay. I don't know what that means. She said, my dad had been trying to help her, and he was doing a wonderful job. But So when she listened to our oh. show, it was very helpful that morning. You know what? I understand what she means. Because when Lori tells me some good suggestions, yeah. I'm reluctant to hear it. But then you'll tell me the exact same thing. Yeah. And then I'll come home and tell Lori, guess what? Ed gave me the perfect solution for this problem. And she'll go... I told you the same thing like three hours Just, ago. That happened to me before the show. You went on and on about today's show, and I was a little tired, and I was like, oh, what is it going on about? But then when I started driving away, I said to myself, what was he going on about? And then I listened again to what you said, and I really was, I said, he's got a good idea. I really get what he's talking about with prosperity. It's not about pushing and shoving. It's about doing what we love and doing it joyfully, and then we attract more and more. So... I totally hear what you're saying. Why don't you read this big long one down here? Well, hey, Gabby. I know. We really do have Gabby Hello, the Postal Gabby. Pitbull in the studio. Yes, yes, yes. Can um, I tilt this down? Oh, see her? Yeah, let's see. Gabby. So hey. now our YouTube uh, yes. watchers, there she goes. She had enough of the studio. Yes, yeah, so there we go. And now coming back, I have a letter here from Stephen or Stefan. I'm not sure. I think it Kowalski. might be Steven, but yeah, I'm not sure. And uh, Mr. French, our studio manager, just walked in, so we better behave. Kozowick or something? We, you know, I never exactly know how Kozowick. to say it. Kozowick? And from Salem, he's from Salem, Massachusetts. Right, and he wrote, Daryl and Ed, Stephanie, Sportkini Queen, Helvelka's brother here. This is uh, Stephanie's brother. Yes. And she has shared with me your radio show and video post, and I've spent the morning, my day off, watching World Peace and Inside Job. 
Two thumbs up from the East Coast here. Dude, and awesome. big kudos for providing so much inspiration. I have been heavily immersed in the game in the book by Florence Scovel Shin, The Game of Life and How to Play It. That's mm -hmm. a book we recommend. Yes. And I've found so much value and resource in working on one's own mind and inner language. Pairing that with prayer, meditation, and your YouTube show has been nourishment to my inner strength. I can attest to what you shared in all three segments of an inside job. What I found interesting is even with building myself up positively and optimistically, I still experience the forces of experiencing other people's energy, and I know that I always will, and that it comes down to choice of response. It can be overwhelming at times. Yes. And I find myself not saying anything at all and not knowing what to say. I have to implement sending out more love. This takes practice. This is a long scroll, Ed. Keep going. A question I have for both of you is, where is the line between talking and not talking What about what is going on with another? At times I feel more centered and powerful when I do not release the word, yet the energy is still there because the thought is too. Then when I release the word, I feel like I'm keeping the situation alive. Then I feel guilt later on. I think I can refer back to sending out love here. Yeah, that's a... He's yeah. answering his own yeah, question. That's right. <laughs> True. I wanted to entertain that thought with you both, knowing that this is where like-minded people listen and watch your shows, work together to focus on a solution. Any insight to the above paragraph will be greatly appreciated, whether you post this on your show or not. Love you both, Stefan or Steven. Thanks to you both. I look forward to watching the show when it's posted. I'm at work during its airing. I will also look into the Daily <laughs> Word as well as Daryl's book. Steph shared a few chapters with me. And I love to have a copy of my own. That's what if Godzilla just wanted a hug. Watched about four more episodes this afternoon. Good brain food. I'll be in touch. Woo! I got through it. Well, I think the bottom line, if you're going to don't lead with the chin. If you're not feeling, if you like having that conversation, if there's any way to eat first, get a coffee first, get yourself into a good feeling place. A lot of times things aren't as urgent as we make them to be. When in doubt, leave it out. Yes, yes, yes. And we could talk about this forever. Should Wait, we keep whoa, going? whoa, whoa. Why are you so jacked up? It's the end of the show, Ed. Come on. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. Don't stop me Cause now. Because I'm having a good time. Don't Stop. Yes, I'm now. having a good time. I don't want to stop at all. Woo! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the end of our script. Thank you for joining us here at Funniest Thing. Uh, send all your stories, comments, and suggestions to Funniest Thing at unityonlineradio.org. You can get a hold of our Twitter, the books we read, discounts on the Daily Word, everything at DarylAndEd.com. So just go there. But most of all and always, thank you for being a part of Funniest Thing with Daryl and Ed on Don't Unity Online Radio. Don't stop me I'm having a good time, having a good time now. Okay, we're clear. <laughs> YouTube, we love you. Yes, we do. See you next time.